Because I had an agent show up in 2006, and he actually told me after I went, I had to go testify at a court trial, he put me in the hospital for three days. But we sat there and had a five-hour conversation after I figured out he was an agent. And I looked at my ex-wife even then. she was. We were sitting in Kinko's, and once I figured out, this guy came up, started talking to her, and I sat down 15 minutes later, and then he and I started talking. And then finally he said something, and I went, Sherry, he's an agent. He knows everything about us. And I turned around, he's shaking his head, yep. Here's the thing. I was sitting on the fence at the time. I mean, I was still running around with the U.S. passport, U.S. citizenship, and at the same time I had taken the ambassador appointment. They sent him in for one reason and one reason alone, and that was to make me make a decision. You're either falling on this side of the fence or the other side of the fence, but you're getting off the fence. So what do you have, a passport? We do our own passports. Right now, we're bringing in more members because now that I've proven that the system works, see, Dominion and Melchizedek, at one time, they had 300 ambassadors, but they were all dual. I will not allow duality inside the DOM anymore. Once I took over 2012, I got rid of 300 ambassadors. Well, the founder went back to prison because he kept running around with the U.S. passport. I just told him. I said, well, you're either signing everything over to me in terms of the land claim, because I don't really care about the land claim. It's a little bitty atoll out there in the South Pacific, but it does meet the qualification for having land. Now, there's recent stuff going on with the UN that's going to do away with the qualification for having to have land, because they're already talking about recognizing cyber communities. And even in their JAG Corps manual, it says that states can exist even if they have a dispute about land. We could do potentially pro-world uh, government, sovereign people or sovereign... Here's what it's really all about. They don't recognize individuals unless the state is formed. So once the state is formed, then people have a position within that state. There's only one thing in law that separates you from everybody else, and that is the pledge of life, fortune, and honor to build something new. The founders pledged life, fortune, and honor to build something new. And they actually told everybody, we didn't do it for everybody. We pledged to each other our lives, fortunes, and honors. Not to all you other jerks out here that won't pledge. Yeah. <laughs> you know, I have to be honest with you. I admire what you're doing. <laughs> Very much so. You got balls of steel. <laughs> yeah, but the thing about it is, it doesn't worry me anymore. It doesn't bother me anymore. It used to. I mean, for six years when my wife and I were doing this together, I never knew when they were just going to bust in the doors and just take us out. I don't have those worries and fears anymore. Somebody even wrote in a question that he ought to just take what he's got and leave and get out of their way. And I said, I'm not getting out of their way. I'm here to do business with them now. What do you mean get yeah. out of the way? Yeah. Over time, you develop your own maxims, and that was my first maxim on my website when I came out in 2010 with Matrix Solutions, and that is there's two kinds of people on this planet. There's those exercising stewardship with immunity and those doing busyness with no immunity. That's it. So wow. my whole thing was to eliminate the criminality, eliminate the criminal side, and deal with business and deal with the civil side, and you can only do that by having immunity. Do I care that if I, if I made a violation and I had to pay a civil penalty now? As long as I'm not sitting in one of their 10 by 10s, I don't care.